information? More than a dozen people rallied against a proposed homeless shelter for the city of San Diego to be built in Middletown. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Carlo Cicchetto. And I'm Anna Laurel and for Marcella Lee. The proposed mega shelter is a 65,000 square foot building that could house about 1,000 people who have nowhere else to go. CBS 8's Esmeralda Perez talked to protesters who are worried about this plan. We'll take a look at how many people showed up to express their concerns here along Kentner and Vine in Middletown on a proposed homeless shelter. Now, some of the people tell me they want city officials to hear their input and how others are doing it. There's a proposal on the table to turn this former printing business into a homeless shelter by placing a thousand beds inside this facility. Today, people lined along this busy street to express their frustration with this plan. And you're literally treating people like cattle. They have to be, or even sardines, they're packed on top of each other. So even trying to make logic of something like this, you can't. Patty says she would like to see a model like Keys to Change, a 13-acre facility in Phoenix, Arizona, that provides people facing homelessness with wraparound services to help them get back on their feet. And they're saving lives every day. They're helping people transition from homeless to having homes, getting back to working again, you know, getting their lives back. And that's what we want to see happening in San Diego. Mary Lynn says something similar to the East County Transitional Center or Sunbreak Ranch would be a better idea. And it's a long-term program. So it helps someone from coming in to deal with their, their issues, whatever those may be. And it may not just simply be homelessness. There may be uh, underlying issues. Sunbreak Ranch is a proposal that would give people access to transportation, internet access, and job interview programs. Meanwhile, the East County Transitional Living Center provides youth services, education opportunities, and emergency housing. This is warehousing. This is not addressing the real fundamental needs. People hope that by rallying together, their voices are heard and city officials get their input. We've spoken before city council. We've spoken directly at them and said, you know, let's, let's hold off. Let's rein this in a bit. Let's, let's talk about this. But there is no willingness to do that. It's kind of like it's, it's our way or no way. I reached out to the mayor's office to ask if there are any plans to get the community's input. I have not gotten a response so far. Esmeralda Perez, CBS 8.